There's nothing worse than when you have a big pile of logs delivered for your fire, but you've got nowhere dry to store them. So here's how to make a pallet log store in less than a day. Firstly, take a pallet, then decide how tall you want your log store to be. Cut your pallet to this size, making sure the planks are running horizontal. And be sure to save any scrap pallet wood for later. Now count the number of planks that run up the pallet, and in this case we have seven. Then using scrap pallet wood, cut twice the number of planks to the depth you'd like your log store. So in my case, I have 14 planks, each to the depth of 50 centimeters. And next we need to attach these pieces of wood to the pallet. Take some measurements to make some pilot holes on the wood, then briefly leave these planks aside. And now we need to cut two support planks for the front of the log store. Measure two 50 by 50 millimeter pieces of wood to five centimeters taller than the pallet, then cut to size. And it's having these two pieces of wood slightly taller than the pallet that will give you a sloping roof that would allow water to drip off. Okay, next lay your pallet down and we'll now start attaching the planks we cut earlier to the side of the pallet. And gently through the pilot holes you originally made, screw all the planks to each side of the pallet. Now stand the log store upright and don't worry if the planks have started to fall downwards because now we're going to attach them to the supports we cut earlier. So take the pieces of wood we cut slightly taller than the pallet and again through some pilot holes you made earlier, screw the planks to the piece of wood. Do this on both sides, then the basic structure of your log store should be complete. Now, to prevent the sides of your log store doing this, all you need to do is get a couple of scrap pieces of pallet wood and screw it to the insides, but it has to be screwed on diagonally. Do this on both sides, then your log store should be structurally sound. And now we'll make the roof, so measure the width of your log store, adding 5cm to that length for safety. Then mark this measurement on another 50 by 50 millimeter piece of wood and cut two pieces to this size. Now place these two pieces of wood pushed up against the base of the log store and take note of the measurement between the two pieces of wood. Again add an extra 5 centimeters for safety, then cut two more pieces of wood to this size and this will form the frame for the roof. Now we'll need to attach these pieces of wood together, so again make some pilot holes where necessary, then screw together with some heavy duty screws. When you've finished assembling the frame, check it clears the top of the log store and it fits nicely, then take a large sheet of hardboard. Lay the frame on top of the hardboard, then run a pencil around it to measure it to size. Then saw the hardboard using either a hand saw or an electric saw and don't worry too much if the edges are a bit rough because we will be covering it in roofing felt later. When the wood's sawed to size check it fits the frame and if you're worried that it's too thin and it does sag when pushed you may want to add a few extra supports in the middle of the frame. However when you are happy with the structure all you need to do is use a hammer and nails to secure that hardboard to the frame. And when you've hammered nails in all the way around the roof and the hardboard's secure, it's then time for the final touch. So take a roll of roofing felt and roll it out on the ground. Lay the roof on top, leaving some excess roofing felt all the way around, then cut to size. Now begin carefully wrapping the felt around the roof and securing into place with clout nails. Now, when you get to the corners, carefully trim the felt using a Stanley knife, which will allow you to wrap it around the corners. However, take your time and don't rush it, because roofing felt can tear easily. Continue nailing the felt all the way around, and then trim on the outside and inside where necessary, until it's secure all the way around. And that's the roof complete. All we need to do now is attach it to the top of the log store. So place the roof on top until you're happy with its position and simply secure into place using screws, attaching it to the frame wood and the wood of the pallet on the back. And once done, it's now time to find a home for your log store, then fill it with all your logs. And that's how easy it is to make your very own log store out of pallets. Now if you loved this DIY project, remember to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you again on Sunday for my next video. Remember to subscribe to be one of the first to see it.